assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to talk about goodwill impairment we will explain why goodwill is impaired and not amortized we will explain the new fasb guidelines to test for goodwill impairment followed by steps involved in qualitative and quantitative assessment finally we will explain the goodwill impairment test with an example but in the beginning of this session i would like to thank my son mohammad abdullah khan who gifted me an ipad along with all the necessary accessories without which making these videos would not have been possible i would like to thank nabia khan for helping me out in preparing these awesome slides I would like to thank my wife Samina Siddiqui for her care, encouragement and constant support who allowed me to use time for her in making this video. Let us start with why goodwill is impaired and not amortized. Goodwill will be recorded if the acquiring company pay more then the net identifiable net assets value of the company acquired goodwill being an asset is recorded in the balance sheet of the acquiring company however it is not amortized like other intangible assets rather it is impaired if needed since goodwill represents a good amount in the company's net worth it is important to test it for impairment otherwise the net worth will be overstated goodwill will be impaired if the goodwill's carrying value exceeds the fair value this may happen when the capabilities of the net assets acquired deteriorate to general cash flows and the fair value of the goodwill dips below its book value gaap require that companies should review at least annually the goodwill for impairment in january 2014 fasb amended the standards for private companies after which they can amortize goodwill over a period not exceeding 10 years in 2017 FASB simplified the test for goodwill impairment for public companies. Let us talk about the new FASB guidelines to test for goodwill impairment. In 2017, FASB simplified the test for goodwill impairment for public companies. The new test conducts two types of assessments: qualitative assessment and quantitative assessment the amount of goodwill impairment is the lower of the carrying value of goodwill or the excess of the carrying amount of the reportable unit including goodwill over its fair value let us talk more about it by explaining the steps involved in qualitative and quantitative assessment Qualitative assessment includes assessment of economic conditions, competitive environment, cash flow, etc. If it assesses that it is less than 50% likelihood that the fair value of the reporting unit will be less than its carrying amount then no impairment is recognized if it assesses that it is more than 50% likelihood that the fair value of the reporting unit will be less than its carrying amount then it performs the quantitative test to determine the amount of impairment if the carrying amount of the reporting unit in the in this step is greater than its fair value then goodwill will be impaired 
again we are going to look into is the carrying amount of goodwill greater than the excess of the carrying value of the reporting unit over its fair value if the answer is no then recognize goodwill impairment equal to the carrying amount of goodwill if the answer is yes then recognize goodwill impairment equal to the difference between the carrying value of the reporting unit and its fair value learning comes more and better by working on an example so finally let's take an example the fair value of saudi india bank identifiable assets and liabilities are 500000 and 150000 so the fair value of identifiable net assets will be 500000 minus 150000 and this is equal to 350000 Petro Yambu acquire Saudi India Bank for 400,000. So the acquisition price is 400 and the fair value of identifiable net assets is 350. So the goodwill is the difference of excess amount paid that is 50,000. The acquisition price of 400 will be the carrying value for the second year. Next, we do the impairment testing and the first step is qualitative assessment. Qualitative assessment includes assessment of economic conditions, competitive environment, cash flows. Two situations may exist. If it is less than 50% likelihood that the fair value will be less than its carrying value, then no goodwill impairment will be recognized. Or if it is more than 50% likely that the fair value will be less than its carrying value, then goodwill impairment will be recognized now we move to step number two that is quantitative assessment and we will do the quantitative sorry qual quantitative impairment test two situations may exist again if the fair value is not less than its carrying value then no goodwill impairment will be recognized or if fair value is less than its carrying value, then goodwill impairment will be recognized. In this problem, the carrying value including the goodwill is 400,000. And the fair value is 375,000. So the excess of carrying value over fair value is 25,000. Now again, two situations exist. Number one, carrying value of goodwill is more than the excess of the carrying value of its fair value. Now the carrying value of goodwill is 50,000. And the excess of carrying value over its fair value is 25,000. Recognize goodwill impairment lower of the two. And in this case, it is equal to the difference between the carrying value and its fair value. So the goodwill impairment will be for 25,000. If the carrying value of goodwill is less than, its, than the excess of the carrying value over its fair value, so the carrying value of goodwill is suppose they say 20,000 and the excess of carrying value over its fair value is 25,000. So recognize goodwill impairment 
equal to the carrying value of the goodwill now. That's the goodwill, sorry, goodwill that is 20,000. So the goodwill impairment in this case will be 20,000. So this completes this session on goodwill impairment. Remember, effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question regarding this session, then please don't hesitate to ask in the comment box or by email and inshallah I will reply you back. Happy